Hi everybody, I'm Louisa Gadesha. I'm the founder of Bottle Logistics East Africa Limited, a glass recycling company operating in Kenya and within the East Africa region. I'll be taking you through my company, the glass value chain, some of the challenges we actually go through in the industry, as well as some of our solutions to revamp the collection model and trends within the industry. There is need to focus on our glass waste recovery and recycling in Kenya because currently there is over 270,000 tons of glass waste that is produced in Kenya annually, with less than 30% being recovered and recycled. As bottle logistics, we strive to create a lean model to efficiently recover the glass waste and process it into quality recyclable and reusable glass products for the local glass manufacturing companies, as well as for the local food and beverage companies. Some of our delivery uh, key pillars include efficient recovery of glass waste through strong collaborations across the value chain, building strong returnable systems for the reusable bottles for respective brand owners, and finding innovative solutions to glass recycling. Our key products include the green, clear, and amber glass colette, as well as the reusable glass bottles. The current glass value chain is long and inefficient, most of the glass is actually produced by the local glass manufacturing companies. However, there are some imports from Egypt and India. Once the local food and beverage companies package their products in the glass bottles and they're distributed through wholesalers, uh, retailers or distributors, they'll end up in the commercial enterprises such as bars and restaurants, as well as residential households. After consumption, the glass waste in form of glass bottles and glass jars will be collected by official waste collection companies, community-based organizations, as well as small-scale collectors. However, 90% of this waste will end up as mixed waste in the landfills. Within the landfills, you'll find informal waste collectors who will try and segregate the mixed waste and sell the recyclable glass to recyclers such as bottle logistics. 10% of this waste will end up in the waste uh, collection company sorting yards, where it's going to be separated into the different uh, fragments of waste, and the glass waste is supplied to bottle logistics. Uh, at bottle logistics, we are going to separate this glass waste into reusable glass bottles and one-way glass bottles. For the one-way glass bottles, we are going to collectize it and sell it to the local glass manufacturing companies. However, for the returnable glass bottles, we'll undertake the first stage washing on behalf of the local food and beverage companies and supply it back to them. The growing post-consumer glass waste is posing an increased environmental risk. As mentioned, there's over 270,000 tons of glass waste that is produced annually, and this is expected to grow at a cadre of 10%. However, currently only 30% of it is being recovered and recycled. There's little to no segregation of waste at a household level, meaning that most of this waste will actually end up in the landfills as mixed waste, which, becomes, uh, which compromises on the quality of the glass waste and becomes hard to separate it from the other waste. Consumers also have no option of where to responsibly dispose of their glass for recycling. Currently in Kenya, there are no recycling stations where consumers can drop off their glass bottles or jars for recycling. The current uh, drop-off bins or recycling stations are mostly focused on plastic, paper, and metals. However, as bottle logistics, we've rolled out two bins within the Nairobi region, and we are still trying to get in more sponsors or funding to roll out more bins. Also, glass fetches the lowest value compared to other recyclables, such as metals, plastic, and paper. Currently, the price of uh, recycled glass, such as Colette, fetches $50 per ton, compared to plastic that fetches around $150 to $300 a ton, or metal that fetches uh, $400 $500 a ton. Therefore, most of the recyclers will opt to focus on uh, other recyclable materials, such as metal, paper, and plastic, compared to glass. There's also low demand of colored glass. Uh, because the highly sought after glass is usually the clear or the flint glass, there's very low demand of green and amber glass, uh, which will actually still end up in the landfills or in the dump sites. However, as bottle logistics, um, we've got a solution for this by exporting the green glass to the neighboring country in Tanzania. In order to increase the glass recovery rate and the quality of recyclable and reusable glass, the solution lies in building a lean collection model. By setting up 
waste collection bins, setting up of new collection centers, as well as establishing a direct collection model from commercial enterprises. For the household or residential glass waste, we are currently getting funds to roll out uh, drop-off bins or recycling stations within the major cities where consumers can actually conveniently drop off their glass waste in the bins. We are also working with uh, residential estates where we just run residential drives such as uh, the Kilimani Residential Association where once a month we set up uh, recycling bays in the residential um, areas and our consumers can just drop off their glass for recycling. As for the commercial enterprises such as bars and restaurants, we've partnered with the Alcoholic Beverage Association of Kenya so as to establish a collection, a direct collection model from bars and restaurants. We are also setting up glass collection centers within and outside Nairobi, where these commercial enterprises can conveniently drop off their glass uh, at, for a fee for recycling. Some of the future trends uh, that will be seen in the coming years in the glass recycling industry, especially in Kenya, uh, is uh, th there have been a lot of um, legislation coming up in Kenya uh, with the introduction of the Extended Producer Responsibility Bill that will actually pave way for the creation of the Producer Responsibility Organization, of which uh, KEPRO, that's the Kenya Producer Responsibility Organization, has been selected to govern glass recycling alongside other packaging materials when the bill is actually passed. So this will see manufacturers, producers joining in as members of the PRO and they'll start supporting uh, glass recycling initiatives because currently in Kenya, there is no recycling um, body that is, there's no body that is actually governing glass recycling unlike in advanced countries. There's also a shift from one-way bottles to reusable glass bottles uh, where companies are moving more towards reusable glass bottles that can actually be collected, washed and refilled, which is going to lead to sustainability and cost savings for the company. There's also a movement towards glass aggregate to find a solution for the colored uh, glass, where we are actually researching on how we can uh, use glass as glass aggregate uh, for construction of concrete in the construction industry. And currently we've partnered with 14 Trees, which is a subsidiary of Lafarge in order to just um, try and launch this as a new product. Yeah, if you'd like to connect with us, you can connect with us on uh, our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can also visit our website, www.bottlelogistics.com. Thank you.